Diving on a liverboard is the pinnacle of travel diving. You are staying on a custom-made boat, made especially for scuba diving. You are immersing yourself with like-minded people, and there are a few social faux pas you need to avoid so that you don't become that guy or girl. Hi, I'm Mark from Simply Scuba, and this is Liverboard Etiquette. Number 5. Stay organised. So space is limited on a liverboard, and you all have to share it, so don't leave your stuff lying around, especially if it's something expensive and you don't enjoy murder mystery type accusations at the dinner table for who stole your dive computer, even though it's been in your cabin the entire time. Number 4. Don't leave your electronics charging unattended. A boat actually burnt to the ground, or down to the dark depths of the Red Sea, because some people left their phones charging in their cabins whilst they went diving. The crew in the meantime were hoovering, which shorted out the electronics and caused a fire on the boat. So needless to say, unless you want to dive your liverboard the following year as a shipwreck, don't leave your stuff charging unattended. Number 3. Stick to the dive plan. So the entire week is on a fairly tight, if not fluid, schedule. Where they have to pick everything up and move the boat fairly swiftly between dive sites to fit everything in. So when you decide to do an hour and a quarter dive on a certain dive site, it throws their schedule out. It also means that you won't get the best mooring at the best dive sites. Or you may even have to go somewhere completely different altogether. Number 2. Stick to the dive plan. This bears repeating. On a liverboard, you can often be a long way away from any kind of serious medical treatment. So if you decide to do an unexpected deco dive or accidentally hurt yourself, it may be some time before you see a hyperbaric chamber. So when the dive guide says maximum 30 meters and 60 minutes, stick to it. Because they're going to be the ones who are going to be panicking and looking for you when you don't come up after an hour. And number one, be nice to the crew. The crew do some pretty amazing jobs on board, and when you look at their accommodation, you really have to take your hat off to them. The crew are there for virtually all of your needs, and they do it all from a boat that they practically live on. So try to learn some local phrases, and when it comes to the end, dig deep. After all, they are the ones preparing your food and pick you up out of the water. Think about it. So what other tips do you guys have for people that have never been on a liverboard? Let us know in the comments. If you're watching this on Facebook, don't forget to give it a like. And if you're part of our YouTube family, don't forget to like, share, and to see more like it, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and safe diving.